Hey everybody, Ron Amadio here from Ars Technica. As I'm sure you are aware, Google has two operating systems on the market right now. There's Android and Chrome OS, but it also has a third operating system secretly in development. It's called Fuchsia, and while Google doesn't really like to talk about it, you can download it and compile it and kind of try it out for yourself. And with the recent news that it was made compatible with this thing, the Google Pixelbook, I decided to see how far it's gotten since we last looked at it. So up here at the top is a little blue button which will uh, switch from laptop to phone mode. The idea is that Fuchsia will eventually run on PCs and smartphones so the Pixelbook is kinda doing double duty here. Uh, down at the bottom you can switch orientations on the smartphone display and everything we do here will also work in smartphone mode but we'll use this since it's bigger. Uh, down here at the bottom, you have a little plus button. Wi-Fi doesn't work. Login will usually display a Google login. Yeah, you can type your your email address, password, and do two-factor authentication and all that stuff in here. It never finishes for me. It will just stop at a white screen after I do 2FA. It's, it's still in development. Uh, the thing that does work is guest mode, which we'll do that in phone mode because that, that'll be fun. So guest mode will get us to log in. And uh, this is not based on Linux, so it's kind of it's kind of shocking how many things actually work. Uh, so the touchscreen works, the the trackpad works, the keyboard works. It all the USB ports work. I'm getting internet right now over a USB Ethernet adapter. If you hit caps lock, you will get a a command line terminal and this debug screen and a couple shells. Uh, so this is the home screen in, in phone and laptop mode. In the center you have a few things here you can you can click in, click on or tap on to to do stuff. If you click on the time you get a a time zone picker. Sometimes this works. Oh it wants to scroll right now. Great. I can maybe I can pick a time zone. It nope, it stopped scrolling. <laughs> it's early software. Um, if you click on the the date or location you can change between a few different profiles so here's one you'll see the background will change and these these suggestions down here will change so here's a city and a cat and some people in front of a mountain if you press this fuchsia button you will get a quick setting screen that does not work uh, the only thing on here that really works is this logout button there's Wi-Fi, just like on the main screen, there's Wi-Fi, which is a placeholder, and the battery, the, the battery does work. I'm at 100%. I'm charging right now. This is apparently called Crush Nutty Jog Wreck, which is fun. There's the build date. That's my real IP address. And I broke it. Did I break it? Hello? Okay. Wait. We're back. All right. Down here is the Google bar. This doesn't actually search Google. It will do a local search of sort of example applications that are on the device. So there's something called Spinning Cube. Yeah, so I can launch Spinning Cube and we will get a Spinning Cube. And this is what an app looks like. You always have a title bar up here in a certain color. Down at the bottom, just like Android, there's a system bar with a home button and I guess this will be a status area. This is a battery icon that actually works. You can long press on the home button to bring up quick settings again. And if you press home, you will go to the home screen and the app will shrink down to a thumbnail here. And I guess everything above this area of the screen is recent apps. So if we click, we can click here and get a phone app. This is a fake picture of a phone app. All of these suggestions launch fake placeholder apps. We can go back to the home screen, and now we have two recent apps. And you notice the spinning cube is still spinning. So any kind of animations that happen in these apps will continue to happen in a thumbnail. So when you have a few recent apps here, you can long press on one and drag it onto another one and start a, a split screen mode. So here's horizontal split screen. You can get vertical. And then if you get them right on top of each other, sometimes you can get a tabbed mode. There we go. 
So yeah, this is tabs. You can see the two different colors up here. You can switch between them. If you long press on a title bar, you can change the, the split screen mode again. That's still tabbed. There we go. Can you control this? No. I swear I could before, but I can't now. Um, yeah, and then your thumbnail will stay as a split thumbnail, which is interesting. Uh, like I said, all of these suggestions down here on the Google bar are pretty much fake, and they're different for each profile. Sometimes you'll get pictures of like actual Google apps, but they don't work. None of these, none of these do anything. They're just pictures. Uh, this is called WebView. You can launch it directly. Let's see. Here we go. So if we, yeah, if we launch it directly, we'll get Google, and maybe it will actually load our lovely web page. Here we go. Usually it'll stop. Yeah, it usually loads about the first picture and then kind of gives up. But it's getting there. It has access to the internet. You can do one or two things with a web browser. You can't download anything with it. It it barely works. And yeah, now it's white again. Well, yeah. You can swipe these away to get rid of them just like on Android, which is nice. And the whole system UI just crashed. There's not too much else to Fuchsia. Um, there's, like I said, a million demo apps that are just pictures. If you type stuff into the Google bar, you will get a million search results, most of which open white screens. So here's one that says music playback. Cool. Let's play some music. Oh no, it's a white screen. They're all like this. There's one, one thing that works is the file browser which will give you a really, really ugly file browser. You can search through, you can see all the system apps that are supposedly on here that don't work yet. Uh, I've typed in every single one of these and they will launch, they will bring up sort of applications and try to launch stuff, but they don't work. There's a few video apps that will bring up a black screen and fail to play. Yeah, unsupported video link. Sometimes these are just pictures. That's pretty much it for Fuchsia. Um, it's it's really early. It's only been in development for two years. Android took five years of development before it was an operating system. So it still has a ton of time to go uh, if it does ever make it to a real product. But for right now, in early 2018, uh, this is what it looks like.